Okay, here's my tomato wine film. I uh, had a ton of tomatoes, um, many, many pounds of them. Decided to make some tomato wine. I heard it actually tastes like a Cabernet. Um, so I ground up about 20 pounds of tomatoes using a uh, Breville juicer and uh, saved all the juice and saved all the pulp in a pulp bag um, and added 10 pounds of uh, sugar which I mixed separately um, and so uh, here's my film about it um, at the end I put it into the um, primary fermenter um, with some Hampton tablets um, and it'll sit that way for a day um, and then I'll add some yeast to it, some pre-mixed yeast, some um, Montraction uh, wine yeast. And then uh, it'll sit in the fermenter for about a week uh, before I rack it off into a primary fermenter with an airlock on it. And it'll sit there for about a month before I finally bottle it. Or two, depending upon how long it takes. Anyway, that's my uh, making tomato wine film. Here I am fiddling with the uh, pulp bag, getting ready to set it into the primary fermenter. Um, I think it'll fit, but I'm going to add some sugar. Um, I pre mix the sugar in some hot water before I pour it in. I rejected the small spoon and used this large one instead. And it's a little bit sloppy. I got too much water in there. And, um, looking my way through it. To measure the bag to make sure I had 10 pounds. I was working with a 25 pound bag of sugar. There I am adding the Hampton tablets. Uh, sodium bisulfate, I think is what it is. Uh, but it'll kill off all the natural leaf yeast. Um, over the next 24 hours, and then I can put in the wine meat and then have more control over it. So I'm finally adding the uh, pulp bag with the tomatoes in it on top of the tomato juice that I had in there, and I'm going to top off the water in there. Shot this with a uh, GoPro Hero, um, and I've speeded up all the sequences. I don't actually work this fast, um, so it's at uh, double speed. Keep the length of the film down to um, no more than a couple minutes. I should have uh, grabbed this sample sooner. Um, I wanted to use a hydrometer and check in advance to see what was going on and it would have been better to have um, drawn the, I uh, used the thief and drawn the uh, sample from the bottom of the container as opposed to the top um, because I really didn't have any good results with what I had here. Packing it into the other room. And then another bucket. I think I've got an apple wine going in it. Um, and it's looking pretty good. I'm kind of concerned about uh, bugs. So that's my story. Thanks for watching.